Hello, I'm Cherie Marie with Carlsbad Food Tours, and Carlsbad Food Tours is a party on the move. We go to six different tasting locations for food and wine. You will also learn about Carlsbad's history, culture, and architecture while you're eating your way through the village. We also do private tours and um, corporate events, so come and schedule your tour with us. Carlsbad Food Tours and Cherie Marie. Hi, I'm Cherie and I'm the owner of Carlsbad Food Tours. Carlsbad Food Tours is a three hour guided walking tour around the village and we go to six different tasting locations for food, wine, and you learn about the history, culture, and architecture of Carlsbad. So come on down and join us for a food tour. So I think I read that you said you get to really, on your website, you get to really learn about a town through its food. Right. Tell me about that. Oh, we have so many different types of foods here. Um, Italian, Mexican, we've got some Mediterranean foods, a Latin restaurant. So, um, but like the Italian restaurant, for example, the Italians came with the tuna fishing industry originally here to the California area in San Diego. And um, now they own a lot of the restaurants. And so we go to several of those restaurants, and of course the Mexican restaurants, and Mexico's right down the street, <laughs> practically, so we're influenced by that as well. So you get to know um, kind of the story and the history of Carlsbad through its food. Okay. Um, a big thing that's happened over the last five years is everybody takes pictures of food nonstop, right? Right. Right. I do too now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I assume you have stops for that, uh, you, yeah. you don't mind. Do uh, you have any tips for how to get a great food shop that you've learned through the years? Well, you know, you got to watch the kids do it because they know how to use their iPhones and they kind of like roll it over and, uh, and it's movement, it's action. It's no longer just sitting still with you put the background with the food and then you go up to the person, that type of thing. Okay, so a video, basically. Kind of, yeah, a short video. Yeah, a short video, right. Um, what's your favorite thing to photograph food wise? That. that was my mistake, Derek. Anything I like to eat, <laughs> obviously. Um, you know, I just want good pictures of whatever the food I'm eating. And, you know, seafood seems to be really good to photograph. You have a big seafood, a pasta, that kind of type of thing. Or gelato. I like the gelato, too. Oh, I've never photographed gelato at all. Um, <laughs> that's kind of hard. It's, uh, you know, it's just a big ball of ice cream. Yeah, but... <laughs> So if you get a, it shaped nicely, yeah. and if you see it in the container that they put it in, the long rectangular containers, uh, and you can kind of go like this. Yeah, slide over it. Okay. Yeah, uh, what's your favorite type of food? You know, I, I don't have, I have a favorite type of food, and I don't have a favorite restaurant, because I'm sure you're going right. <laughs> to ask me that. But um, I have different types of food that I like at different restaurants. So I like the gnocchi over at Chichiotis, and obviously I like gelato. I like the crepes, French crepes over at Froglanders, and the goods. I don't know if you've been to the goods yet, but uh, yeah. they're artisanal donuts, and uh, oh, they, they won the best donut in San Diego last year, and they have a brown butter donut that just kind of melts in your mouth. So, uh, Where's the goods? Down. Is on State Street? A couple blocks down on, on State? State Street, yeah. Okay. Yeah. On the other side of the lake? Um, where Barrel Republic was, next door to them. Now, um, uh, Handles is not on the tour. Handles is not. I've thought about it, but I, I like the gelato and the fact that they've been here a long time. There's story behind that. Handles usually has a huge line, so we would have to work something out as far as we don't. We can't wait on the tour. We usually call ahead and say we're going to have so many people come by, and then, then um, at a certain time, and so it needs to be ready, ready to go, and uh, we can't wait in line for that. Uh, how long is the walk? It's uh, about one mile total, depending on where we go. We change it up, we change to different restaurants. Uh, um, depending on the day and the amount of people going. Okay, so the name of my show is Photo Walk, so it takes people on a virtual photo walk. Right. Um, 
So what are some of the non-food sites that they will see? I guess soon you see the big, beautiful Victorian building. Yes, we stop at all the historical sites in Carlsbad, which is the Twin Inns there. We also go to the Carlsbad Alkaline Mineral Spa. Um, we talk about the history of Carlsbad, how it started. And then we also stop at all the different street art um, murals in town and talk about who did the painting and what it means and that type of thing. If I asked you to, to try three photos of Carlsbad that said we're in Carlsbad, what would that be? The Twin Inns, yeah. <laughs> the, um, the beach, but, right. <laughs> and um, I would say probably the mineral spa that's going to tell you you're in the village. Yeah. Uh, you know, Carlsbad is much bigger than the village. The village is just a small section where most tourism comes here, where the restaurants are and the shops and that type of thing. But Carlsbad goes from one lagoon to the other and all the way back to La Costa area and the Omni Hotel back in there. And um, I would also include the lagoons because they're very unusual and um, Batiquitos Lagoon is a beautiful place to photograph. I haven't seen them, so is that like Tamarack Beach? Or That's a little bit, well it, it starts at the beach obviously, yeah. but it's, it's uh, about 10 minutes from here over by Aviera Parkway, you know. So it's actually a little bit of a, a drive, but um, it's beautiful. Okay, the lagoons. Lagoons, yes. Like the north lagoons. We're going to go to the lagoons. Lagoons. Yeah, yeah uh, there's the Carlsbad uh, Lagoon, which used to be called Agua oh. Hedonian. Okay, but Agua something. Like that. Are you? Yeah, Agua yeah. something. But That's probably it. Okay. Yeah. Or you might be going to the Discovery Center where That's they have, uh, yeah, it. yeah. Okay. So you'll be able to see the lagoon from okay. that okay, vantage sure. point. You'll be able to take some good pictures. Okay. Do you live in Carlsbad? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, for someone who hasn't been here before, tell me about Carlsbad. What's like? Oh, uh, Carlsbad is your kind of unique little beach town. It's very quaint. It's got a European feel to the downtown area and some of its uh, history. Uh, comes from Czechoslovakia, so you've got that influence and the Mexican influence, of course. Um, and uh, it's a walkable, very walkable, bikeable town. We're very into activities here. Um, obviously, beat, the beach is right there. So my husband's a surfer, kiteboarder. <laughs> I do stand-up paddle boarding over at the lagoon that you'll be seeing tomorrow. And um, so there's a lot of activity and. Um, and biking. Biking is a, is a big thing here. Skateboarding. Smaller than Oceanside? Smaller, but it's different. It's a very affluent beach town. Um, and we have a lot of companies here. So believe it or not, you can actually work and play in your same town here. So we've got research companies. We've got medical device. Um, we've got golf. Golf. Carlsbad used to be known as the golf capital. Because, not because we have golf courses, we do, but we have all the golf companies are stationed here. And you're like, why? Because the weather is like this all the time, so they can play and test out their equipment and such. So Callaway, yeah, TaylorMade, yeah, all of those are, are located in our town. Okay, and, and for people going to San Diego, they obviously like to stay up here as well, even though it's, what, 40 minutes from San Diego or 30 minutes? It's like a little, um, your escape area, you know, you want to go, actually what I do is I go from beach town to beach town and, and uh, stay in different locations and your staycation, I guess, that's what you, you, you call it. But also the resorts in our town are beautiful. Yeah. I live over by the Park Hyatt and I pretend that's my house periodically. <laughs> go over there, I was just checking out yesterday, I said, Oh, there's yoga classes over there. That would be nice to just go up there and act like I'm on vacation, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, but uh, instead of staying in downtown San Diego and being with all the hustle, you could still go to the zoo and do all the things you're going to do in oh, San yeah. Diego by staying here. This is a great location, a kind of a mid location between all the attractions. You know, if you have kids, you've got Legoland down the street, and then you've got the, the animal park, the wild animal park, not too far from here that you can drive to. You can get to Disneyland 
from here. My, my, one of my daughters lives up by Disneyland and Knox Berry Farm. So this is the kind of a central location to hit all those places. And the zoo, of course. We've had, actually, we've had the zoo people on the tour. They, um, I, we find that a lot of places that, workplaces that are fun places, they like to go to fun locations to treat their employees. So we had Legoland come on for a Christmas tour, and then we had the zoo people. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I guess um, what, um, what would make somebody take a view? I mean, because people could just walk around and figure out. You don't, you don't get the, the, the inside information that you get on the tour. You get to know who the chef is, um, why they're here, where they came from, um, what type of food that they specialize in. Also, the history of the town. I, I go on food tours all over the world. In fact, I belong to the Global Food Tourism Association, and I look for food tours wherever I go. We went on vacation to Portugal recently and went on a food tour and, of course, a wine tour in Portugal. But um, And I, I go and see which one of my friends has a food tour in this, in this country or town because what it does is it, it gives you a layout of the town, um, where you want to go, for dinner or lunch, and it also tells you the history of the town. So you learn, and you you became a, a local in three hours this way, and that's why I do it uh, around the country. You know, um, there's so many great ones. I've been to three or four of the ones in Florida. <laughs> Miami has a great tour, the Cuban tour, and yeah, and uh, New Orleans has a, a fabulous tour. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong right, in New Orleans right. with any of the food, but if you're a foodie person and you like stories and you like to hear about the people um, in town and, you know, you just want to get a little bit more feeling of what the town is all about, then you go on the tour. And then you do Encinitas as well? Yes, do Encinitas tour. We just started that this last year and um, it's a great tour. One of our guides is a real foodie, and he was a plant-based food coach. And so initially that tour was a plant-based food tour, um, but we decided to open it up to everyone, so now we've added in a few other Okay, items. so you're opening tacos to something, to tacos to something, to tacos to something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is it quite different than the one here? It is different, yeah. It is different, and Ben Ben runs that tour. That's kind of his little baby, and um, it's a different town. I mean. Yeah. Encinitas is also a beach town, but it's got a different flavor. I mean, there's a lot of spiritual things in Encinitas. Um, and smaller, obviously. Yoga, you know, it's um, it's very small. It's just the the highway there is yeah. is basically the town, but um, it's just a different flavor, different different aspects. Cool. Where are we meeting up for the uh, 